Hello everybody, welcome to Defense Grid 2, and in today's video we're going to take a very brief look at it, we're going to play a couple of missions and see what we think about it. I have played a little bit so far, um, just to get the basics of it. If you do want more information on this game, by the way, I will leave that in the description, so be sure to go and check that out if you like the look at it. Right, I was going to do the prologue, um, which is here in chapter 1, but then I did the prologue and he didn't shut up. And I think it might just be better to explain it for myself. So I think we'll start with mission one, Threshold. Um, and we'll go through the basics as we're doing that, just to try and get a feel of the game. It's quite fun. I've played... Um, you know, ooh, what's all this? We'll just go with story for now. I'm not going to explain explore the game fully. But um, it's quite fun. I have played little bits of it. Played an over an hour really on Saturday night because it got quite addictive. So I do, if you like the look at it, I do um, urge you to go and have a, a look at that. Right, so we're not going to bother reading that. We're just going to get into the basic Command gameplays. Show. Seems like bits. an asteroid mining facility. After a long trip, even this place looks good. Indeed. We're landing the command shuttle Raffaella now. We'll connect to the grid as we isolate the signal. Right. Interesting. It's actually a level 4 distress call. Precisely the same distress level as my mother-in-law arriving unannounced. <laughs> mother-in-law joke. joking when someone's in trouble? A quip here and there has kept me sane on this long journey of ours, Kai. Well, relatively sane. I'm not sure the commander would agree. Wait, oh no. I see the recon too. Damn, years of deep space travel and the aliens still beat us. Yeah, yeah. Them here. Checking systems. I can bring three tower types online immediately. Gun, Inferno, and Cannon Towers. Cannon Towers are my favorite. Precisely. Commander, prepare for invasion. Right, I want... Here they come. Good luck, you three. Right, okay. Let's have a brief pause on the game. Right, so, essentially what we need to do is we need to defend this over here, the little spinny blue thing, um, from the aliens that are going to come down here past our towers and try and steal everything. Now, this is a tower building game. There's lots of features. There's also leaderboards to compare your skills with other people. But yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to grasp it as we go along. Um, we need to be thinking things about range, about damage, rate of fire, but we will go um, over that as we go through. The people that have been talking in the box at the bottom are basically just kind of giving you advice throughout. So let's get into it and let's see what we think. So the first thing I'm going to go and do here is build some cannon towers. Now cannon towers in my eyes are definitely the most effective. Especially when they get upgraded, they're really good. Now there are three types of towers. We can build a gun in this mission, an inferno or a cannon. A gun has a better range, rate of fire, um, and but everything else is a bit worse. Like, the cannon is by far the best. So we're going to go two cannons there, and then when we get trans, we're going to put an inferno um, here. So hopefully they'll do damage. Now we need to make sure that we're going to create as long a path as possible, as quickly as possible for them. Um, right, so I just want to block that off. I want to make the aliens go all the way around. You see the red arrows? That is the way they've got to go. They've got to get all the way down here, nick the things from there, and then get back without being killed. That is when you start to lose your cause, which are the, the, are the key bit of this. Right, I'm trying to talk through as quickly as possible. Right, oh god. So some have got through, but it's fine. They'll get killed on the way back. Um, I think Inferno... I prefer Infernos to guns as a rule, so we'll go and stick an Inferno there. But... More than anything, I'm going to be going for cannons and upgrading the cannons as pretty much as soon as possible. The long range cannon tower is slow but powerful. It's really good. The cannon is by far my favourite. Okay, yeah. As you can see, we killed the alien which nicked that core, so that core is now heading back over here. Things are going to get, um, yeah, busy pretty quickly. So, we need to start thinking about putting one here. Now, I always tend to go, from when I've played, I've put a cannon here because of the range it's got. As you can see, it's got by far the biggest range and it's the most effective. So, we're going to stick a cannon there and then it can attack things in all this area. Um, we'll, we'll probably play a couple of missions and then I can go more into my tactics in the second one. Because in this one, I'm just trying to focus on going through the very basics. But in like squares like this, I always go for the ones that give the biggest range. Um, like, if we put an inferno there, look how ineffective it is. The green circle is what it's affecting. And as you can see, if we put, uh, we don't put a cannon there, it's pretty much going to be a, a useless. So we're going to stick a cannon on there. Right, so we've got a few, we've got an inferno there, a couple of cannons that are trying to get things as they start coming. But we do need to upgrade our cannons. 
Now, once we upgrade our cannons... Yeah, it does, not it just? It feels fantastic. So as you can see, when you upgrade a cannon... You're doing great. Right, okay. When you upgrade a cannon, it yes, goes indeed. back under and then comes back up. Space travel, I expect chasing other aliens feels especially good. Yeah, definitely. Be really nice to go for a run, too. Try not running for about a thousand years. Okay, we'll upgrade that as well. Taking a bath or... Thanks so much for bringing this up. Shut up, guys. Hey, you asked me. Whatever. Okay. So, yeah, so it's working reasonably fine. Um, as you can see, and I'll go through it in a second as we sort of get further in, when you upgrade, you'll be able to see the stats go up. Um, so, for example, if we upgrade this um, gun, you can see how the stats, how the red dot sort of is the improvement in stats. Now, you get a lot more of that with the cannon. The cannons upgrade massively. As you can see, when we upgrade that, look how much the attack goes up. It goes up quite considerably. So, as soon as we can, we're going to be upgrading these cannons at the front. To really make our first line of defense super, super strong. Um, okay, we've got 800. Let's get you in before the next wave comes. There are 20 waves on this mission. You can see that from um, sort of that on the top right. And we also have a sort of secret weapon, which we'll go through as we get close. When we when we need it, we'll use it. Um, but essentially, it's a big bomb. That's the best way to describe it. So hopefully our cannons are going to do a decent job as the first line of defense. And then things will get burnt when I get past there, which makes me very happy. See, the thing is, with upgrading anything but a cannon, it doesn't really change that much. Whereas the cannons, for me, upgrade massively. Oh my god, is one going to get through? Oh my god, one got through. Whoa, that's so scary. We have an absolute fire pit around here. Any more? Oh, there is more, yes. I'm trying to think, is it worth sort of upgrading you? I mean, I guess it'll be fine. We can also sell towers, but I don't know why we'd want to do that at this stage. Upgrade that cannon. Um, we might actually upgrade this one as well, because that's got decent range. It's the third upgrade that really makes the cannon so powerful. As soon as the, like, the red cannons, they are absolutely crazy powerful. They just kill things. For fun. Upgrade. We have lots on level 2, so, I mean, we can pretty much deal with almost everything they throw at us. Oh, now there's more. There is more. I think our next move is going to be just to upgrade some of the other cannons to level 3. I don't think we need to build any more towers. We'll just upgrade cannons, right. Look at all these aliens, I mean, they're just so stupid. Why do they keep coming at us? We've got an absolute beast of a setup going on here. Minced. Burn. Burn. Oh my god, look how weird they are. That is weird. They are weird, man. What is that on the front of the head? Ugh, that's disgusting. I'm quite glad we're killing them now, because they're probably freaking me out. They're gonna, yeah, they're not even getting there. Dead. Okay. Do, do, do. We are 19 seconds, I believe. Maybe away from victory. It's saying we've, we've got a countdown going on here. So I think we could actually go for more waves if we were really good at the game, but um, we are not. Look at that, so weird. You know what, let's bring the orbital laser out then. Yeah. You know what, that's what them weird animals deserve. Disgusting. I think they're different. There are different types of enemies on this game. Like when you into further in um, future levels, we're gonna need um, different types of weapons to deal with um, different enemies. Okay. Oh no, we've, I can't, oh no, it's the orbital laser. That's what the countdown was. We have, we are, um, Wave 14 of 20. Do, 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 do. Right, okay. 15. Wave 15. So we might need... I think we will just sort of, with our money, 
upgrade some cannons to level 3, which should see us through. So we've done 2 there. So that should see us through pretty comfortably for the next few levels at least. Yeah. I mean, you're not getting through here, let's face it. The cannons are going to deal with you. Level 3 cannons are probably my favourite thing in the world right now. Don't. Why am I zooming in on a cannon? What has my life come to? That one's on fire. Oh, no, he's not. He's dead. Probably a better thing. Is it better to be on fire or dead? I mean, I imagine being on fire is not very nice, so... Maybe being dead is preferable. I think as soon as we can, we want to upgrade this cannon here because that's sort of also acting as a first line of defense. So four cannons around here, I mean, that is just deadly, man. That is going to be absolutely deadly. Four red cannons. That's what I'm here for. I think we'll wait till the wave is over and then we'll... We're not even getting past this stage anymore. They were getting further at about wave 10. Glorious. We have 2 minutes 58 till the orbital laser is back up and running. Yeah, okay, so I think most of them are dead. Oh my god, one's got down there. Well done. How far are you getting? Are you going to make it? No, I don't think you are. I don't think you're... No, you're dead. Wow, this one's got far, but it's, it's reward for that is to be burned. Oh, I don't think he got round there. Could you, how a few of them have got round that time? Maybe we need to think about upgrading our defences. We've got quickly upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. I mean, they're not getting back, which is a big positive. Got further than I thought, though, then. Good. Let's not. I mean, I was getting all cocky. We are on wave 17 of 20, so they're going to have to throw a lot at us in the next few rounds if they're going to win this. Um, I don't think they're going to get there, though. I'm going to level with you. I think wave 18's here as well. Yeah, wave 18. Um, I don't... We could upgrade that. We'll upgrade that. I'd quite like some more cannons around here, just to shore things up a bit. I'm going to stick a cannon. Oh, in fact, no, I'll upgrade this one. I think upgrading one's probably more used to us than building a new one in some ways. So I'm going to upgrade that one. It's absolute madhouse around here. Okay, and as soon as we can, we'll probably buy some more cannons. But cannons are just mincing things at this level. And now you're going to get mints from this direction. Wave 19's coming in. Oh god, they really are pushing it on here, aren't they? They are trying to put the pressure on. I mean, good on them. I mean, it's going to be pointless, but good on them. I, I think we will stick another cannon around here. Uh, maybe there. How far would your range be there? It's pretty big. What about over here? Yeah, I'll stick one there. Quite a few have got past the first line of defense there. I think a few could get through here, maybe. The last wave is coming as well, so this is going to get a bit crazy. Oh no, they're not getting there. That one's just going to get roasted. Yay! Okay, we have lots more money, so we might as well just shore things up here. I'll actually, I'll go and upgrade you. We'll try and do... That is the whole wave. That is all that there is left. We might even use our orbital laser. Orbital laser, bang. Go, use. Well, that's game over. Bang. Haha. Thank you. That was a masterclass. Finally. Shall we head that way, Commander? No. Let's go a different way. Kai, are you all right? I'm fine. There's no one I'd rather fight aliens with. Weird. But if the aliens are here, they probably beat us to the human planets. 
So what? Uh, this fine. could be the last of them. I can't say I'm optimistic, Simon, but one thing at a time. Our first order of business is finding that distress beacon. Shall we, Commander? Too right. Okay. So we have, as you can see there, we have got a little bit of a chart to show how well we did. I'm sure you can compare your scores on the leaderboard, but yes, thank you very much for watching. If you do want to see a couple more episodes of this, do let me know. I am seeing it as a one-off video right now, but obviously if you want to see more, then I can always make more. Um, I will make sure to be sure to leave more information in the description, maybe some links, and I'll definitely link this um, in the description as well. So thank you for watching. Thank you um, for having the opportunity to play this game. I appreciate that. Um, and yeah, remember to like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in another video soon.